Welcome back everybody. Today I have a brand new video for you guys discussing the boss spec mod and the backup mag mod for grenade launchers. I always hear a lot of controversy and discussions when it comes to using each specific mod in a raid, so today we'll be going over the total damage, the time frame to empty the weapon, as well as how many reloads it takes to empty the weapon itself. Now, do know I will be covering the Wendigo GL3 and the Swarm of the Raven as they are the two most highly used grenade launchers in the game for DPSing on bosses. I'll also be testing both Backup Mag and the Boss Spec mods on both grenade launchers. Swarm of the Raven will be tested with the obvious Spike Grenade roll. And just for the controversial topic of only using Wendigo for the first 6 shots with Izanagi Burden, I'll be running that setup as well and testing out the DPS and comparing it with just the Swarm. This testing and comparison will be done at the very end of the video. And you guys might just be surprised with the actual end results of that testing. So let's go ahead and just test this out on our good old friend Riven. Except on a Warlock, because Luna Faction boots and reloading. So for the first testing here, we have the Swarm of the Raven with the boss spec mod on it. Do note that all testings will be done with just the Healing Rift and the Luna Faction boots with no other spec mods or buffs. Now I ran this multiple times with each grenade launcher with each mod on it, assuring that every single shot landed directly inside of Ribbon's mouth, assuring that we get the best results with the best damage outputs. Now as you just saw, it took us 14 seconds and 3 reloads to empty all of our ammo from the Swarm of the Raven with the boss spec mod into Riven, giving us a total damage of 429,614. Now we're going to test out Swarm of the Raven with the Backup Mag mod. Now with the Backup Mag mod, it does not give us any extra ammo. Instead, it gives us two extra shots from the reserves and puts it into our magazine. With the Boss Spec mod, it had five in the chamber with 11 in the reserves. Starting out with this, we had seven in the chamber and nine in the reserves, both equaling up to 16. But as you can see here, we were able to empty out our entire magazine and ammo within 12 seconds with only 2 reloads. Doing this 2 seconds faster than the boss spec mod, we only did 411,490 damage. So we lost 18,000 damage, but did it 2 seconds faster due to it only having to reload twice. Now to test out the Wendigo GL3 with the boss spec mod on it. And for the Wendigo testings, I did the exact same thing as I did for the Swarm of the Raven testings, making sure every single shot landed directly inside of Riven's mouth, and only using the Healing Rift with no other additional mods or buffs. So it took us a total of 14 seconds with only 2 reloads to empty out all the ammo in the Wendigo GL3, giving us a total number of damage of 371,170. So now, one of the final tests with the Backup Mag mod on the Wendigo GL3. This mod boosts the Wendigo magazine from 6 to 7, still keeping the same amount of total ammo. With this mod on, we have 7 in the chamber and 10 in the reserves, whereas with the Boss Spec mod, we have 6 in the chamber and 11 in the reserves, both equaling to 17 shots. So even with the Backup Mag mod on the gun, it still took us 14 seconds to empty all of the ammo from the weapon. This is due to it still being two reloads and it being a slower rate of fire weapon, giving us a total of 334,290 damage. So for the end results of Swarm of the Raven with Boss Spec mod, it did a total damage of 429,614 damage in 14 seconds with three reloads. Swarm with a backup mag did a total of 411,490 damage in 12 seconds with two reloads. So the choice is obvious here, if you're going for more damage, you're going to want to put the boss spec mod on your gun, as each shot does more damage to the boss. However, if you're crunched on time, you're going to want to put on the backup mag, as you can fire off all shots quicker than the boss spec mod. As for the Wendigo GL3, there is no other choice other than the boss spec mod, as it does way more damage and the backup mag mod does not add any benefits to the weapon. Boss Spec mod coming in at 371,178 damage in 14 seconds with 2 reloads, the Backup Mag mod doing a total damage of 334,290 in 14 seconds with 2 
reloads. So to answer all the questions and the debates on which mod you should use on a grenade launcher, Lost Spec is hands down the better choice. And of course, Swarm of the Raven with the Spike Grenade perk is still reigning champ for damage over the Wendigo GL3. Now many of you are going to state that you only use the Wendigo GL3 paired with the Izanagi's Burden, so we're going to take a look at the total damage outputted by those two weapons. So the standard strat for using Wendigo with the Izanagi's Burden is firing the first six shots off and then switching to your Izanagi's and using the weapon's perk to do insane amounts of damage with one single shot. So here, we'll be doing the same exact testing on Riven and firing our first six shots out of the Windigo and then switching over to our Izanagi's Burden and reloading and firing off as many shots as we can, each time crocking the Horn Edge perk. Now I do also want to note that the Izanagi's Burden that I'm using has its catalyst fully masterworked. So with that end result, we were able to do a total of 223,614 damage with the Izanagi's burden Windigo combination. Now, you may say to yourself, what, you still had 12 more shots. However, if we compare the amount of shots that we had left, with 12 in the reserves, we should have 4 more shots left. Multiply those two by the amount of damage each shot did, which is 51,027. That brings us to a total of 204,108 possible extra damage. Now if we add that number to the total damage that we did with 223,614, it gives us the total possible damage of 427,722. This still being outclassed by a Swarm of the Raven with Spike Grenades and Bospec being 2,000 more damage than the Izanagi and the Wendigo combination. This leads to one conclusion. Grenade launchers with spike grenades are still the top DPS weapons overall. Now does this mean you should be dropping your Izignagi's Burden, your Whisper of the Worm, or your Darcy Snipers for DPSs on bosses? No, absolutely not. A lot of raid bosses still require you to DPS them and hit their crits from a very far distance, this making snipers still the optimal weapons to damage bosses. Any type of boss that you can get straight up into their face and doesn't move around a lot, I highly recommend using the swarm over any of these snipers. A great example being Galron in the Crown of Sorrows raid. That is all for this video guys, and I hope that I helped you decide and end some debates on what weapons to use in the raids. One more thing before we jump on out of here guys, I'd like to invite you to join my clan, Spartan117. If you need a clan or you're in seek of one, I'll leave a link in the description down below. That's all for this video, my name is Muffly, and I'll see you guardians out in orbit. God damn it. <laughs> what? Ah, for fuck's sake.